here, turn, turn left. Uh huh. Run, run, sort run of around the. Along here. Yeah. So, what I'll do is I'll just. Yeah, so sounds good. Yeah, footage. that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I'll try and um, keep up with it as best as possible. Yeah, I'll just go after that. Yeah, it's fine. Officially in the middle of winter in the UK. Um, well, the winter's begun anyway. It's freezing. It's um, about minus one degrees, and there's ice on the ground. A little bit of snow last night. We're going to get a nice slow recovery run in today. It's Monday, first day of the week, um, and first day of the week for me is always recovery run um, and uh, a lifting session later on to do do some leg training. It's a cold one, so we're going to get moving. I'm going to do some filming on the way around. James is going to do some filming on the way around. Um, we're at a nice location, so this is a nice lake. The scenery is beautiful, it's cold, it's fresh. It's what life's about. We'll see you around. Later. What a day to be alive. Beautiful. Cold out here. Um, nice recovery run. Last week, as far as training goes, was absolutely dire. So I was scheduled for about 14 hours in total. And once again, kids are sick. Sleepless nights kicked in, and also work got a bit crazy as the stuff had to get sorted out. And also my body, because where I, where I was ill, just wait for that train to pass. Where I was ill a few weeks ago, and then took a little bit of time off. I hadn't fully recovered. Got back into training, and then last week started to feel all sorts of beat down, lots of niggles, body was hurting, and with all the other stuff that was going on with the kids and work, I decided to uh, take it easier. Now I'm out here on a nice recovery run this morning. We had a bigger session last night, two and a half hours, and which was a bike from a by a run. My hands almost froze off on the run because my gloves are too tight. Um, but I think the important message is you've got to listen to your body. If it's sitting too beat down, uh, feeling exhausted, wiped, back off slightly, and then we can go again. So let's crack on this run.
What a beautiful day. Weather is amazing. Cold, but it's sunny, fresh. Oh, it's good to be out. All right, so recovery. I've seen too many athletes over the years through work um, burn the candle too much at both ends. Now, when you're um, trying to get good levels of performance, there's certainly a trade-off. You can't be missing session after session after session. But you do have to recognise when it's you just feeling the bits, a little bit tired, but you're actually fine and you know, unmotivated, but you should be training. And when it's actually, you know, going to be harmful for you to go out and train. And I would say last week, excuse my fat fingers, last week for me, some of the training sessions wouldn't have been of any benefit. So now, the keys for me for recovery, <clears throat> sleep being the biggest. You need to be getting seven to eight hours sleep if you can. Last week I was getting threes to fours. That weren't gonna help. Nutrition, focus on total calorie intake, making sure you get an ad adequate amount of protein as well. Endurance athletes typically anywhere between 1.6 2.4 grams of protein, depending on what you're doing, depending on how much you're training, depending if you're trying to lose weight, put on weight, whatever it is. Then obviously you're training stress. Don't want to increase too much. You need to understand if things get a bit sore, you need to know when to back off. And then you've got to factor in the fact that you're, you're human outside of training. So any sort of stress you get in your life and your work and the fatigue that adds <coughs> does play into how you can recover from training all these things you've got to be aware of them because when you're not that's when injuries that's when illness happens <laughs> So all done, um, nice recovery run in the bag. Like I said, um, when I was out running, got a nice uh, resistance training session later on as well to get done. Um, and hopefully this week, a much more productive week of training. Last week, absolute disaster, like I mentioned, but it had to be that way. Uh, we've got to listen to the body sometimes and there's no point burning the candles from both ends if you've got something out today you've enjoyed it you like our content make sure you subscribe we've got some really good stuff coming up including me entering a jiu-jitsu competition where when i uh have only ever worn a gi probably 10 times in my life when i used to compete in mma i used to do all my training in no gi and I haven't grappled for years um and I don't get to go in the beginner category because I've got pro MMA fights under my belt. So subscribe to either witness me getting whooped or um, we're doing okay, but we'll see <laughs> how it goes. Um, either way, I'll be happy because this is a bit of a bit of adrenaline and a bit of fun, um, something to keep me interested. Um, also got some really good content coming up in terms of triathlon stuff as well. So definitely keep tuned in for that. Um, we appreciate you all tuning in. Um, go and have a good day, good afternoon, good evening, and we'll catch you very, very soon right here on our blog.